I just stayed at 14 of the very best Putacana all-inclusive resorts. Uh, all recently within the past few months. And at every one of these properties, I stayed for a minimum of four nights. I searched out their best restaurants. I looked for the best drinks. I went to every single pool on property. And I also hung out at the beach. I just tried to do as much as I could on each property for four nights. And now I'm going to pit them against each other. How do the 14 of the best rank and rate against each other? We are going to find out. Let's start with number 14, Luxury Ambar. Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar. No secret here that this property is not for me. I did not have a good stay. I will never ever be back. Uh, a lot of you have a lot of passion for that property and that's great. Uh, it may be for you, it is not for me. Uh, we're not gonna agree on everything, but here's why I didn't like it very quickly. Uh, first of all, the rooms were remodeled, which was fantastic. That was a nice upside surprise, but um, the rooms had no soundproofing at all. Though probably some of the worst soundproofing I've ever had in my life. Like I heard conversations two or three doors down from me, which seems impossible. Uh, but the walls were paper thin, the doors were paper thin, the swim up pools were obnoxiously loud. Uh, so just kind of being in the room during the day was actually almost unbearable. There was only one pool on property and uh, I'm not going to the other Bahia sister properties to go to their pools. I'm not walking over a mile because that's what it is. Uh, I am not taking a golf cart or a shuttle. I wanna be at the property that I'm staying at and for a five star luxury resort in Punta Cana, only having one pool is unforgivable. Other than that, the service was completely lackluster and underwhelming, and in fact, it was quite inferior and poor, especially given that this was a five-star resort. With that being said, Ambar comes in at number 14. All right, number 13, Dreams Putacana. Um, let me start with the positives. Uh, the positives are it's charming. I loved how they had nature infused with the property with the flamingos and the duck pond. It had a fantastic pool. The food quality was decent, and overall, the property just had a lot of charm and it had a great vibe. Unfortunately, the property is drastically outdated and old. The rooms are significantly undersized. Probably the worst room that I've had so far in Putacana. For me, I think there are better family resorts and I also think that there are better values for your dollar. Uh, for that reason, I'm putting Dreams Putacana at number 13. Uh, number 12 is TRS Turquesa. You know, I don't really have a lot of good or bad to say about this hotel. This hotel is just kind of bland. It's like your bland entry level five star property. It's between four and a half to five star, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and give it five star. Um, I thought that you, the value is actually, I think, decent. And I thought the location was fantastic. I thought the pools were average, the beach was average, and the food was below average. I just don't have a lot to say about TRS Turquesa. It's an entry level five star option. For that reason, I'm putting it at number 12. Uh, number 11, Royalton Putacana. You know, there are some things I love about Royalton Putacana. First of all, I think it's still my favorite beach and the best beach I've seen thus far in Putacana. Also, if you upgrade yourself to Diamond Club, you get uh, access to some fantastic drinks with some awesome bartenders. That was probably the highlight of my stay. Um, I also had the best view that I've ever had from my room. My my view from the honeymoon suite, which they upgraded me to, uh, was definitely the best I've had in Putacana. But unfortunately, Royalton Putacana has some major drawbacks, and that is number one for me, it was inundated with families. I don't mind family resorts, but this was just way too many families. You'd have thought you're staying at Nickelodeon. Uh, the food was very underwhelming, below average, and also the pools were very, very lackluster. For those reasons, I'm putting Royalton Putacana at number 11. All right, number 10 is another Royalton property, Royalton Bavaro, which is really, really close to Royalton Putacana. Uh, these properties are very similar, but very different. If you want the full rundown, I actually did a comparison video. If you are between those two properties, make sure you check out that video because you need to choose very, very wisely, depending on what you like. Um, overall, I thought the Royalton Bavaro had a better crowd. It wasn't so much families. Uh, I also thought it had much better food. And overall, I just got a more elegant and refined sense from that property. Again, Royalton Bavaro and Royalton Putacana are so close to each other, both in proximity and in rating. Uh, that's why Royalton Bavaro comes in at number 10. All right, number nine, Breathless. This is a stunner. I am shocked at Breathless coming in at number nine. Uh, so it's very expensive. Uh, it's very trendy. It has a big brand, but again, the hype just isn't real. Uh, the rooms are drastically old, outdated, worn, ugly. By far the ugliest hotel rooms I've ever seen in my entire life. It's almost an embarrassment, at least to me. That decor is tacky. I thought the food quality was decent, but the problem with the food is that the menus only had like four or five selections for their entrees. At that price for a hotel per night and all inclusive, you almost need to have like a pseudo restaurant type menu that you'd find at Excellence or even here at Azul Beach. 
Overall, to me, it really wasn't a party hotel. It was more of like a feel-good hotel, more of like a boutique hard rock. It was beautiful. I love the Hollywood hip art deco theme. It was lit up magnificently at night, and the hotel does have a lot going for it. Unfortunately for me, I just didn't see the value in it, and for that reason, it comes in at number nine. Number eight, Majestic Mirage. When I booked Majestic Mirage, it was the number one hotel on TripAdvisor. Now, TripAdvisor rankings fluctuate just like any rankings fluctuate, so it's probably not number one anymore. Last time I checked, it was number six, but it's not even number six on my 14s. It has a lot going for it. It has one of the most beautiful lobbies I've ever seen in my entire life. The drinks were great, and also it has probably the best restaurants uh, in entirety out of all these 14 hotels. Unfortunately, the pool scene was almost non-existent, and the beach was shockingly embarrassing for a hotel of that caliber. Seaweed everywhere. These high-end hotels, the ones that I've seen, they manage the seaweed problem. Majestic Mirage just kind of let it sit. I still stand by my high rating of the property, uh, but the hotel definitely has almost some fatal flaws. For that reason, it comes in at number eight. Uh, number seven is Hard Rock, uh, the most popular hotel in Putacana. I can see why uh, the place is massive. It is like an international hotspot. Uh, it has the largest standard rooms in Putacana that I've seen thus far. I was shocked at how large uh, the, just the entry level cheapest room was. I thought the food quality was average and average at an all-inclusive is actually really good. So uh, the food was somewhat decent and the beach at Hard Rock was stunning. It was wide and it was expansive. You can't even see to the other end of it. And if you do decide to walk the entire Hard Rock beach, you better strap in because it is gonna be an exercise. The property is almost too big and it does suffer from a little bit of overpopulation. I still did have a good time there. Hard Rock comes in at number seven. All right, number six, Secrets Royal Beach. This is a solid hotel. It doesn't do much wrong. It has a great beach. It has fantastic pools. The restaurants are above average. The service is super. And the drinks, it probably might have the best drinks and alcohol selection out of any hotel that I've been to in Putacana. There isn't much bad to say about Secrets Royal Beach. It is a solid property. And for that reason, it comes in at number six. All right, number five, Majestic Elegance. It is the sister property to Majestic Mirage. Majestic Elegance is the slightly older, it's a little less refined, a little less elegant, not quite as modern or luxurious as Majestic Mirage. You might be saying, James, why are you ranking it significantly higher or significantly lower? Better, why is it better than Majestic Mirage? Well, because it's about 50% cheaper. And if it's only slightly older, and if it's only slightly less elegant and slightly less modern, but you're paying half the price, to me, that's a tremendous value. It had the much better pool scene, and I love the crowd and the vibe a lot more. For those reasons, it comes in at number five. All right, number four is where I'm at right now, Azul Beach. Uh, this property has two of the fatal flaws that Majestic Mirage has. It has an underwhelming and boring pool scene, and then a terrible beach. In fact, the beach here is worse than Majestic Mirage's. This is the worst beach I've seen in Putacana, maybe ever in my life. I'd have to think about it. But even with that, the property score is off the charts in every other category. It is fresh. It's brand new. So if you're gonna stay here in the next couple of years, you're gonna get the best this property has to offer. The rooms are brand new. That means a new bed, new furnishings. Everything smells nice. All the gym equipment is new. All the restaurants are new. Uh, they're really trying to make a name for themselves here. So you're gonna get really the best this property has to offer for the next few years. That is awesome. Uh, number two, this property is so much fun. It is the sister property to Margaritaville. And Margaritaville is literally right next door. Uh, it's only steps away. No shuttle, no golf cart, no long walk. You can walk back and forth between the Margaritaville property and the Azul Beach property in a matter of seconds. Uh, lastly, the food. The food is phenomenal. I have to think how I'm gonna rate this food against all these 14, but it might rank number two or three. Now, it's a bit more casual than what you might find at uh, Maj Majestic uh, Elegance or Excellence or Majestic Mirage or Secrets, but it's only slightly more casual. But I'll tell you what, the food quality is so much better than almost every other hotel I've been to. I would personally rather have phenomenal, slightly more casual food than high-end food that is really mediocre at best. They have a steakhouse here that's unbelievable. The Italian restaurant is unreal. And the room service here is by far the best room service I've ever had. Yes, it's even better than excellence. Food, fresh and fun. Remember that for Azul Beach. It comes in at a solid number four. All right, number three is Royalton Chic. This is the experience that I pretty much expected at Breathless. You know, kind of like a Rue Republica uh, with better food, better crowd, bit more upscale, more refined. 
uh, you know, with just kind of better options and amenities and luxuries. That's exactly what I got. To me, between Royalton Chic and Breathless, I already did a comparison video, but there really is no comparison. It had the much better crowd. I actually liked the pool scene a little bit better. The food was just as good. And again, uh, it's trendier, it's more modern. I love like the South Beach motif. Royal Tinchik comes in at number three. All right, number two is Ryu Republica. Uh, that's right, we do have a new number one. Uh, but before I get to that, Ryu Republica, it has such a soft spot in my heart. Um, I never saw it coming. I booked it kind of as a joke. Uh, it offers rates sometimes for $99 a night. If you're interested in booking at that price, just go to the website. They lay out the dates for you and what dates qualify to get that rate. But uh, again, I booked it as a joke. I expected to have a laugh and the joke was on me for being judgmental. The property is insane. It is by far the craziest party hotel in Putikana. It is more of a party hotel than Hard Rock, Breathless, and Royal Ten Chic combined. Uh, it is filled with energetic, young, I'd say 20, 30, early 40 somethings. We're just there to have the best time ever. The beach is possibly the second best beach I've seen in Putikana. And also the food quality isn't that bad. It's for $99 a night, the food quality is much better than what it should be. And okay, the rooms aren't five star like they're advertised. They're really more four star than five. But the second you step foot on property, you're not going to care. Strap in, you're gonna have the best time ever. Rue Republica comes in at number two. All right, we have a new number one and that is excellence. Uh, the, the hotel is very appropriately named and the hype is real on excellence. Um, now you're gonna pay five times more than what you pay at Rue Republica, even though you really can't compare those two, they're, they are two totally different experiences. Uh, you're gonna pay five times more, but in some ways you're going to get five times more, at least in terms of luxury and food and refinement and service, and in some cases the experience. Uh, if you wanna get treated like a celebrity in tropical paradise, you need to book at excellence. They roll out the red carpet for everybody. I had my best meal ever at any one of these Putacana all-inclusives at their French restaurant. I think it's what, Chez Isabelle or Chez Isabelle, however you want to pronounce it. I thought the stretch of Golden Sand Beach was mesmerizing. It was spectacular. And the rooms were fantastic from the bed to the overflowing mini bar to the four bottles of liquor that they give you standardly to the awesome soaking tub to the huge rain head shower, marble everywhere. I opted for the private swimming pool, which I highly recommend. The experience was unforgettable, but even more so, it's difficult to imagine how they even pulled it off. It was that sensational. Excellence comes in at number one. All right, so that is it for my top 14 hotels at Putacana. We have a new number one, which is exciting. And what is even more exciting is that I still have the best hotels upcoming. This list is not complete. This list is not definitive. This list is not done. Uh, we have some heavy hitters remaining. A lot of them in Kapkana, you know what I'm talking about. And I still have some other amazing uh, hotels to see throughout Putacana. So I'm looking forward to keeping this list going. Um, I will visit another six uh, sometime probably later this year. So we'll round out the list to 20 and then we'll keep going after that.